So in the Durfee High ecosystem, Ernest Moniz was the intellectual, Chris Hearn the athlete, and our final guest straddled both worlds, <laughs> noted Durfee student and cheerleader too. She's now my Boston Public Radio co-host and spirituality columnist at cruxnow.com. Marjorie Egan, good to see you, Marjorie. It's all been downhill. <laughs> so you grew a high up point. in a mill town. It was this yeah, huge textile right. thing, hit tougher times, that sort of thing. The smart kid, the Ernie Moniz, when he was a kid, was he valued? Was the kid with the big brain valued in Fall River when you were growing up? Well, let me tell you, my three kids went to Brookline schools, and in Brookline, having a big brain was the big value. What I saw, and I maybe what I was wrong, is that the thing you wanted to be was what Chris Heron was. You wanted to be, Duncan. if you couldn't be the star of the basketball team, then you wanted to be a cheerleader because you got to ride on the bus with the basketball team. And that's why I get up every morning for three months and went to Mass to pray, not to get good SATs, not to get into Princeton. But you'd make the but cheerleading to be, squad? to be one of four girls picked out of like 75 people to be a cheerleader. That's all I did. Well, was, since you you mentioned that I was going to show it later, but do you yeah. recognize anybody in this photograph? You can take a look at the monitor. Who? That is one of the best pyramids <laughs> I've ever seen. Are you? Are you part of that pyramid? I was always holding everybody up. You so know? you're one of the ones. I'm on the right hand side. You are the right hand. Right side on the bottom. You're Jim. looking fabulous. Thank but you. But I'm serious. Brain. I know you don't want to say it, but a brain it was a big wasn't deal. a big deal, right? It, no, it was a big. Fall River is a tough town. It, it was always a tough town. We had one great thing, and that was the Durfee High School basketball team. We would win state championships. We would. We would go in play basketball in the Boston Garden. They'd have parades when they won the state championship. My cousin married a guy that was the star of a, a basketball team when I was a little girl, and they had a parade for him. So You dated the star of the basketball team, did well, he, he, well? He, he was a, he was a good basketball player. It was no, no Chris, Chris Hearn. Hearn. He was a good How basketball player. How big was player. Chris Hearn in Fall River? Huge. I remember his father before him. I remember seeing his father, Al, Al who Heron, went on to be a state rep. who was a great basketball player, and, and I remember seeing him play. And, and you could not get into the, to the Bank Street Army. The place was packed. It was overflowing crowds. It was the biggest thing in the city. And that's why, uh, you know, I mean, my parents were on my back. I had to get good grades. But uh, it, the smart kids were kind of made fun of, you know what I'm saying? So finally, Marjorie will... Will and is Chris Hearn as big a hero in your hometown for being this crusader for sobriety as he was for his ability to maneuver with a basketball? You know, I think he broke a lot of hearts because he was the one kid from Durfee High School that really made it big and made it to the Celtics, but I don't think you can compare the impact he's having now, talking to young people about the drugs that I saw a million years ago with the impact he would have had being a great basketball player, but just a basketball player. It's much more now. So they do get it. Yeah, I think they do. That's great. Marjorie, I'll see you tomorrow at 11. Thanks so much.